Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install vMenu into your 5M server. First things you're gonna to want to do is go ahead and click on the first link in the description below. That's gonna bring you to this page, which is gonna be where you download the resource for the vMenu. Scroll down and then download the vMenu v365, the top link. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and open up the file, and then you're gonna to want to go ahead and open up your server resources file. And then within this file, what I would recommend doing is making a new folder and naming it scripts. Make sure you add these brackets on both ends. This is just going to help with organization and help you find things easier. And then you're going to want to open up scripts, make a new folder within this file called v menu. Open up that folder and then drag all these files you got from the v menu download into the new folder you just made. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out everything else. And then you're going to want to go ahead and start your 5M server. Once your server is started, you're going to want to go to your TX admin. And once you're in TX admin, go ahead and go to config editor. And if you don't have TX admin, you can go ahead and go to your resources folder. Go back into your server folder. And there should be a server.cfg file here, which you can open with Notepad or Visual Studio Code. And once you open up that file, it should look like this. All this is is the same thing as this server config here. This is just the web version of it, and this is going to be the manual folder version of it. So once you're in your server config, you're going to want to go to where it says resources will start by default. Go ahead and press enter on the bottom one. Type ensure. And then with the same thing, you type the brackets, scripts, and then click save file. All that does is that ensures that every file that you put within this scripts folder will automatically be started and automatically run on your 5M server when you start it. Now that you have that done, go ahead and restart your server. And as you can see, it says started resource V menu. Now with just the V menu resource being in the server, you can load into your server and use the V menu, but you are going to be restricted to a lot of different features due to the fact that you have not yet set up the permissions for it. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is go to your config editor once again. You're going to want to start a new line and you can organize it how I am. Or you could just type it in anywhere on a new line. Now what you're going to want to go ahead and type here is going to be this right here, this line. This line is going to be in the description below so you can go ahead and copy that and then paste it in here. Once you have that done, go ahead and click save config and if you're doing it through the folder, just control S and then go ahead and restart your server again. Now, as you can see, we no longer have those yellow errors saying that vMenu is ignoring permissions. That's because that we just allowed permissions to have access to our server. Now, still, you're not gonna be able to do anything with the vMenu, so let's go ahead and change that. So go ahead and go back to your vMenu resource, go to the config folder, and then double click on the permissions. You're gonna wanna open it with Notepad, or you're gonna wanna open it with Visual Studio Code, whatever one you prefer. Now, once you're there, this is what it's going to look like. If you're new to this, this is all going to be very confusing to you, but I promise you, once you get the hang of it, you're going to understand it a lot more. Starting at the top, as you can see, this is called key mapping here. This is where you're going to have your menu key bind. By default, it's M, but you can change it to whatever key you like. Now, if you scroll down until you find the category called global permissions, which is going to be here, global permissions, you're going to see the hashtag add ace bulletin everyone, view menu everything. What this is going to do is allow you to access everything within the vMenu. Now, if you see a hashtag before a command here, that's just going to mean that it's blocking the command. The command will not run. So what you're going to want to do is delete that hashtag and then save it. And then now bullets in everyone, that meaning everyone that joins your server will have access to everything within the vMenu. Once you have it saved, go ahead and close this out. Restart your server once again. And then once your server started, go ahead and load into your server. Once you're in the server, go ahead and press your keybind that you set the vMenu keybind to. For me, it's going to be M. And as you can see, vMenu is up and running. I have access to everything, God mode and visibility. I have access to no clip, which is going to be my F2 button. And if you would like to learn how to set up permissions for vMenu to restrict a certain action to a certain person, Go ahead and watch my next video. Other than that, go ahead and have fun.